Sam is going to go on for a little bit. I don't know how much longer. It's actually broken. <laughs> I don't know if you can see. It's the music box came unglued, I'm sure. Uh, my kids may have had something to do with that, but that's what the holidays are all about. Little jingles, little merriments, little snow globes. Got some gnomes to watch the unboxing with us today, as you guys can see on the table. So, <clears throat> man, gosh, it's been... It's been a long time since I've done a, a dual camera sort of thing. I, I don't even know which camera to look at. I guess it's my laptop camera because my other camera. Anyways, a long story. I'm using a, a camera to my right. That's doing the unboxing. That's typically the camera I use for videos on this computer. Uh, we're doing everything on the laptop tonight. Oh, I need to take down. Hold, hold on. Hold on. Hopefully I didn't blow out your ears. I had the, uh, the gain all the way up for the music box. So I apologize if I... It blew out any speakers or any earbuds. How's everyone doing tonight? Merry Christmas, happy holidays, wherever you're at in the world. Uh, celebrating whatever you celebrate. It's a great time of the year just for friends and family and just for traditions. I got some friends coming over on Saturday. We're going to watch Lord of the Rings. Uh, it's pretty much going to be an all-day marathon. So, wow, it's, can't wait. My parents are coming over the next day. They're going to be here for a couple of weeks. So it'll be good for them to see the grandkids and vice versa. Uh, yeah. And then, uh, at the end of January, get back into the rotation of work, be traveling to California for a couple of reveals, but well, one's a reveal, one's a drive. So busy, busy. Another thing, another big thing in the channel. So you guys know my second channel, Kirky cars. Uh, it's a lot of fun. It's just a lot of fun for me to see the, the rest of the industry, especially on the electrified end. Uh, I've been talking with BMW, Audi, Porsche uh, recently, and even Stellantis. Um, and so they're like, well, you know, most of them don't really... W Here's the thing. Their electrified options are so small. They don't want to send me just electrified options. My, cha my other channel is only, only, thanks to you guys, I, I have 3,000 subscribers. It's amazing. But they're like, well, would you be interested in also driving our, our, our other vehicles? I'm like, heck yeah. If any vehicle shows up in my driveway, I'm going to test drive it and give you guys my impressions. Uh, the, the identity of the channel will continue to evolve over time. That's just nature of business. So hopefully you guys understand. I will never lose my identity of my roots. I'll always know where I came from, starting with Lexus and then branching out to other Asian automakers from there. Uh, but it's going to be fun to see some other offerings on the market because I can't be as close-minded as I have been forever. Um, there are other great vehicles on the market. And you guys, if you know me well, you know that I love pretty much all cars. Like I, it's just, I started with a niche and then over time you expand, at least that's how I'm doing it. And I'll eventually have, uh, actually, I know I have an Audi S8 coming, which is great because I just drove the Genesis G90. So kind of apples to apples comparison there. Uh, and then they're also sending me an SQ8. So that'll be fun. Um, and yes, eventually the e-trons and the electrified stuff will make their way onto both channels. But yes, I'm excited to have you guys here. And I have no idea what's in this box from Toyota. Every year they're like, hey, do you want a Christmas gift from us? Well, they don't say Christmas, you know, whatever, their PR stuff. They're like, hey, do you want a, a holiday gift from us? And I'm like, uh, yeah. Last year, I don't know if you guys can see in the back. There's a, yeah, you can see it. Uh, there's a little puzzle here that me and my daughters just put together a couple. We did it twice. We put it together um, maybe a month ago, just recently. I forgot all about it. Uh, and we busted it out, put the puzzle together. I think I made a social media post about it. It was so much fun. And those are all like uh, the, the Toyota trucks and Land Cruisers throughout the history of Toyota. Excuse me. So that was cool. And who knows what I'm getting this year. First of all, what do you guys think is in the box? I haven't a clue. Some of you guys were asking before the stream started. I don't have an idea. My wife shook it. She said it sounded like something soft. So, you know, whatever Cassie says, she's probably, she's right most of the time. So it could be a t-shirt for all I know. Mike Wellington with a two bucks. He says, I love Kirk. Thanks, man. I love you too. Happy holidays to you and your family. Many blessings. Uh, so uh, thanks guys for coming out. A t-shirt. Fruit and chocolate, I'd be okay. I would eat that on the live stream right now. Uh, if it's a t-shirt, maybe I, maybe I take off my shirt and put on that shirt. Maybe on camera, maybe not on camera. Depends how much money you guys want to throw at me. Just, just kidding. It's it's a Monday night. I don't even know what day of the week it is. It's a Monday night, so don't get carried away, guys. Uh, someone's saying it's a toy 
Yoda, like a baby Yoda, like a like the the, the Jedi Yoda. That'd be cool, or a toy Toyota. KP says, "Merry Christmas from Vancouver." You have a following up here now. Well, thanks, man. Um, my good friend David Chow lives in that area. I met up with him for the first time in LA at the, uh, before the LA Auto Show. Uh, he did a little live stream of the Prius reveal, so I kind of cameoed in that. So it was finally great to meet him in person. Um, a Prius Prime charging cable. Oh, that that would that would mean I'd have to get one, which it's not out of the equation. So. A little Prius background. I can't share anything until two days from now. What is it? The It's the 12th. Embargo ends 14th, 7 a.m. Eastern time, something like that. Um, very early in the morning. Um, I worked on the review today. Uh, there's a little cameo in there from another YouTuber. So hopefully you guys enjoy that. I have two videos, one solo, but I'm going to put that, put up the cameo one first. Uh, I had a lot of fun driving the Prius, but I can't really, I mean, that's probably even outside of embargo. I really can't say anything. So stay tuned uh, for Prius news, all the official details, um, even all the details I can't cover in my first drives. There's just a lot of them. There's, uh, I have all the, the, the technical specs, et cetera, that I can't really go, if, you know, in detail through a first drive. So, um, Yes, key to a Lexus LFA. You know, we were kind of joking about that at the Prius event, and Toyota's like, you know, it's LFA, you know, if you guys want to come to Plano, it's not out of the equation. But I think they have a couple of LFAs there. One's a white Nurburgring. That might be Akio Toyota's. And then I think they have a red one as well that's not the Nurburgring. Either I don't, I don't care. I just want to drive one. And I don't. I could drive it at twenty, like just first gear only. I'd be happy, you know. I'd be happy with that. Mike Wellington, another an, another donation. Thanks, bro. Uh, five bucks. Thank you. Uh, that was an accident. I meant to send uh, sent in more. I swear I'm not that cheap. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas to you and your family, Mike. Appreciate now the total donation of like seven bucks. That's amazing. That is that pays for like donuts for my kids. You know. It, if I'm real slow to wake up out of bed, they 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 start pulling my leg for Dunkin' Donuts because it's literally I don't have to go outside of my neighborhood. So, yes, I appreciate that. That goes to the holiday Dunkin' Donut fund, I guess. Um, yeah, don't spam, guys. Don't spam. No spamming. Yeah, Leo's a moderator, so Leo Leo will shut you down if you're spamming. Um, Grand Highland. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Let's see here, guys, any, should I, should I get into it? Should I slowly open the box here? I don't plan on doing a real long, long live stream tonight. Um, it's a Monday night, you know, but I want to do live streams more often. And I know you guys would appreciate that. I want to spend more time with you guys. Uh, really at night's the only, it's probably the best for all of us. Uh, but at night's, at night's also the best time for me to get one-on-one -on -one time, watch some shows with my wife. So, uh, and just to relax and for us to talk about our days because our days are just crazy work, kids, cleaning, kids, work, you know, you know how it is. Should we get into this Toyota box? Hey, so what are your last guesses on what's in here? What are your last guesses? Any, any guesses? on what's in the Toyota box. Karate kick the box open. I'm not gonna do it because it could be breakable. It's 3.20 a.m. where sh Super Sakur is. Thank God bless you. Hello from Norway. It's gotta be like one or two o'clock there. Harold, thank you for coming out. Probably a mug. Well, Cassie said it sounded soft. So I'm thinking t-shirt. Where are you guys all coming from? California? Hello, uh, Rishi. Sykes Pops says T-shirt. Fujiwara tofu. I mean, I'm not a big tofu. Well, I do, I do like miso soup with some tofu in it. Plushy GR86. Oh, my girls would destroy it. Uh, but, you know, that's what it's for. Oh, you should see my LS400. I have a, a die cast of an LS400 that I've had for a few years, and the girls have, like, popped the wheels off of it, tore the doors off of it, and it still runs. Go figure, right? So initial D box set. That's a good one. South Carolina, Littitz, Pennsylvania. Probably butchered that. Indiana. Hello from Las Vegas, Puerto Rico, says Sykes a Pop. 
don't I don't have that many followers from Puerto Rico, so I always appreciate seeing him come in. Uh, Mr. Hawk Seattle, I've seen I've seen you before. Uh, Derek N. Box looks about the size of a cabin air filter. Could be that, you know. I probably I probably could benefit from having a new one in in the van. By the way, I got I got rid of my 2004 minivan. I haven't done any updates on the minivan, so I got rid of my 2004 Toyota Sienna uh, when I was out of town driving the CRV hybrid. No reception in the mountains outside of Santa Barbara wine country. It's no man's land up there. Uh, and my wife calls me. She's like, van smoking and no air conditioning. And she had to take the kids outside of the van while they're waiting in car line for to pick up my other kids. They had the dog with them. They're walking through the rain, the Florida rain, because the van was like smoking. Um, needless to say, long story short, like cops helped her get to the school uh, and I wasn't taking any more chances with the Sienna. 99% sure the uh, compressor went out. Engine transmission were still running great on it. It was still running great. I drove it to CarMax, sold it for a thousand bucks, which I got a thousand bucks after it after driving it for two, three years. Uh, and I only paid like four or five grand for it. So I didn't, I didn't lose much. And I got a 2013 Sienna. But the long story short is, I, I actually bought a Honda Odyssey. I'm like, this would be good, a little di diversification for the channel. I'm going to buy a 2016 Odyssey. It only had like 30, 40,000 miles, something like that. I took it home, did all the paperwork. The next day, and maybe this is what was happening on my test drive. I just didn't notice it. It was shuddering with the gears, second, third gear. The tack would be climbing like this. And I'm like, I got to return this car. It's a lemon. So we returned it. Uh, waited a, a week for a 2013 Sienna with 40,000 miles to come in, pulled the trigger, has a DVD player, happy camper. Uh, it's not perfect, but man, the body's really good on it. The interior is really good. Uh, so I'm very, very, very happy with the, the new Sienna. Gets 18 miles per gallon, not really any better than my old one, but it has a lot more power. So that, that's that goes for something. So yeah, T four five five hundred transmissions are horrible. I think their I think their CVTs are really reliable. I think their hybrids are really reliable. I think their new ten speed, uh, it's kind of early to tell, but I think that thing is bulletproof. And the reason is is because the path, the recent history with bad transmissions, uh, or just not good enough to their standards transmissions. So, yeah, I think that ten speed and the new Odyssey. If you can find a, a new Odyssey, the ten speed, I wouldn't be worried about anything to be honest. Um, so. Yes. Yep. All right. I th is it uh, Augustine's in here or Augustine, depending, I could be saying it wrong, but Augustine, thank you for coming out. He is a mil, uh, he is a member. He's from Milford. Is that Delaware? Augustine's in Delaware. It's not that many people up there, right? Cars tech wood. Well, yeah, 18 miles per gallon, but we wait in car line. We drive like exclusively city. So if we drive it on the highway, I'll probably get like 25. So uh, Jonathan says he enjoyed my G90 review. Impressive Lux Saloon seems the spear of the OG LS that Lexus has lost to capture and been captured by Genesis. Uh, yeah, so I just have like a bunch of, of my, re my car reviews going on this screen in the back. What's playing right now? Oh, MDX Type S. Awesome, awesome SUV. Speaking of awesome, yes, the G90. Still in my driveway. Uh, very impressed. Smooth. That's what it em, it embodies everything I want in a luxury sedan. Effortless acceleration, tons of power, uh, smoothness on another level, ride quality on another level, quietness. That's something I didn't even mention in the review because it's just so overwhelmed. Everything's just there's just so many details in a, in a hundred thousand dollar luxury sedan. The quietness is impeccable. I could hear stupid, like, it's so quiet in the cabin. I could hear strange things that I'm, I'm not used to hearing outside the car, if that makes sense. You might be saying, Kirk, well, that means it's loud. No, no, no. It would be like weird noises that I'd never hear in cars coming from other cars um, because it was just so quiet on the inside. Anyways, hopefully that made sense. Uh, Mazda, Mazda six. Yeah. The Mazda six is great. I don't know if I read that right. Rest in peace. Mazda six. Have I driven the Lyric? Kind of like Lyric. No. Uh, 
I have reached out to General Motors and therefore Cadillac. I haven't heard back from them. The, pretty much all the Germans have gotten back to me um, about bringing their cars into the channel. So, uh, and even, even Stellantis, which is international at this point, uh, Fiat, Dodge, Chrysler, Alpha, et cetera. But I think it's, I don't want to beat around the bush too long. I don't want to keep you guys waiting. Um, the Mazda 6B transmission is really good. I love that transmission. What made you get the old Sienna over the new one? Oh, price. Guys, like, <sighs> cars are expensive. You guys know that. Um, interest rates, not great right now. Um, I didn't want to drop 50 plus K or wait around. I couldn't, that's the thing. I couldn't wait to, to, to mess around with the dealership or put an order in. I had to get a new van ASAP the day of essentially. We can't live without a minivan or, or three row vehicle. So I had to buy a vehicle right away. I went to CarMax. Overall, pretty good buying experience. Uh, my, my sales rep was pretty awesome. So, I, you know, even though I had to return the vehicle, they have a great return policy and I got a, a better one. Um, and yeah, like no negotiation, upfront pricing. I, I got what I wanted and it, that's why I didn't get a new one because I, I, one, didn't want to spend that much and two, I needed a vehicle ASAP. So opening the box, are you guys ready? Can we get a drum roll? Hey, hold on. Do I have a drum roll? Hold on, hold on. I don't, I, I got it. I got the air horn. Are you guys ready for this? <laughs> All right, here we go. Here we go. All right, let's read the card. That is a loud applause. It goes on for a while. Uh, here we go. Try to try to put it so you guys can read it somewhat. The camera's tricky. Here we go. We are grateful to, well, happy holidays. We are grateful to have had you along for the ride in 2022. And closed, you will find Toyota packing cubes to help you prepare for your adventures in the new year. Packing cubes. We look forward to going even more places with you in 2023. Your friends at Toyota Motor North America Corporate Communications. All right. Okay. Packing cubes. This is nice tissue paper. Not going to lie. Here we go. Toyota bag. Um, it almost looks like a first aid kit, but they said packing cubes, right? Packing cubes. What is this? Keep in mind that the uh, the key light is kind of blinding me right now. And it, this is black, so it's kind of hard to see with the light. So it looks like a bag. I got two separate bags. It almost looks like it almost looks like what people stuff their chihuahuas or pom pomeranians in in the airplane. So I I honestly don't know exactly what they are. They they look they got handles on them. And they're not Toyota branded. But the, this was this bag was. The first bag is. So I got a packing pa What's the difference between a packing cube and a and a bag? If you guys know if, like keep clothes items organized? Okay, so maybe on my trips. So this is maybe for my trip trips that I take for Toyota, like ToyotaCon, which I'm going to, guys, this year, I'm going to make my own ToyotaCon t-shirt to build hype for HQC 2023. Oh, I've been thinking about it for like a year. Yeah, what is it? Is this for a suit? My wife will tell me. She'll know exactly what these are for. Uh, Cassie is way smarter than me. But I like this bag. I think this is cool. I like the tweets. Got like you know the classic Toyota logo on it. So not quite a t-shirt, but I could put t-shirts in it. And I, I don't even know. Can I do full screen? Nope, that's not it. Uh, that's not it. Here we go. I guess I could just um, 
just do full, like full screen. You guys don't want to see my face full screen, though. That's a problem. Uh, it is what it is. So there we go. I'm going to, I guess, uh, there it is. There is the Toyota bag with multiple, like two other bags. So three bags total, small one, a medium, and a large packing cubes. There we go. That's cool. Thanks, Toyota, for sending me that. I'll, either myself or my kids will find something to do with them. So <laughs> there we go. There we go. What are the specs of my PC? Which one? The one behind me? The one behind me? Um, it's a 3950X. Oh, sorry, the camera is behind me. It's 3950X on an X570 motherboard. Uh, I got 64 gigs of DDR4, 4,000 4, megahertz, 4, 000, I think 4,000 megahertz RAM. Gosh, I, I, it's been a while since I've been on the uh, computer specs. And I have a 3080 Ti in there. Um, I have a, I have three slash four monitors. I have two 27s, and then I have a 49-inch ultra-wide. And I use it all when I do my like uh, video editing for reviews. It's a little overkill, but I like a lot of real estate. Um, the my laptop, I don't even remember. It's new. It's new for me. The laptop. It's got like a thirty sixty Ti in it, and it has an AMD processor, eight core, sixteen threads. Um, so. My big PC actually went down this week. I was a little freaking out. And um, I figured it was a power supply because the power supply's fan was spinning up. It was getting really hot in here. So it was kind of on its last legs. It went out. I got a new one. Same day delivery. Amazon Prime's amazing. And the power, so like, I, this is like, I'm, I don't build that. I build a new PC every like three or four years. So I'm not like super experienced when it comes to it. So I left my, my motherboard cable, my, was it the 12 pin? No, it's 24 pin, whatever. Uh, motherboard cable in there from the last power supply. I'm like, surely it's universal, right? Wrong. Put the new power supply in there. Hopefully they're like, hopefully Corsair is not watching this because I sent it back to Amazon saying it was a faulty unit, but, but it like, it's all smoke computer wouldn't start. I'm like this thing, it's not, it's not going. So uh, I just triggered, triggered Alexa back there. Cause I said computer, that's my trigger word. Computer turn off. That's creepy. Uh, so yeah, she knows now she's been listening. She's going to charge me for two power supplies now. Shoot. Should know better. Anyways. Yeah. Put the next, the <laughs> got one the next day after I burned out the first one and it's working great again. So I'm editing like a speed demon now. We talking cars tonight. Yeah, we can talk cars a little bit. I don't want to be on too late. I probably want to get this wrapped up probably by eight o'clock. So another 20 minutes or so. Depends on how many people, I mean, a lot of people left after the unboxing, which I get. You're here for the unboxing. You're not here for me. You're here for, for like, what kind of cool present am I going to get? I get, I get. So. Um, lunch bag or camera bag? Yeah, but I just got a, I just got a, a better camera bag. I was rocking one that had no organization for a couple of years. I'm like, I can't, I can't live like this. I'd be like throwing things out of my camera bag as I'm doing my reviews. It just, it wasn't working. Uh, Leo, what is a membership? You mean membership for the channel? You were, you were a member once. So really a member, a member is just supporting me a little bit more than just watching so kind of like the Dunkin' Donuts fund or like my ice, the ice cream for the kids sort of fund on the, on Fridays, they can buy ice cream at school. Um, it's not really like, yeah, some of it goes to the channel, but really it goes into the family. So it's more of like, uh, here, Kirk, I like what you do, use it to, to, to do family stuff or your stuff. So that's kind of what the membership does. It's just a little extra support for me, which I really, really appreciate. Um, and it like, it, it, I used to do a whole bunch of other perks that I couldn't live up to, like exclusive live streams or um, like bonus behind the scenes content. And it just, I just wasn't able to do it. So the new membership's just like, hey, sometimes I do member exclusive posts, but most of it is just, you, you're just 
you you like my content, you appreciate the content, and you're here to support the the content other than uh, just views. So that's what it's there for. You can contribute to it if you want. It's completely optional. Um, so that's at the end of my videos. I'm looking at the wrong camera. I'm so used to looking at my main camera. I'm I, sorry. Trust me. I'm looking. I'm looking at you, but I'm looking at the wrong camera. So. I apologize, but I guess maybe it looks cinematic that way. It looks like I'm talking to an interviewer. Uh, um, hopefully that answered your question about memberships, Leo. But yeah, you used to be one. You used to be one. So maybe things have changed a little bit since you were a member. Um, am I going to go to the auto, Chicago Auto Show? Well, Toyota wants me to go for the Grand Highlander. So that's a possibility, but I'm not a big auto show person. I'm really... If I go to an auto show, I'm kind of there, like the LA auto show, I'm there for the reveals and I'm out. Spending five, six days away from the family doesn't make any sense for me. So hopefully, hopefully, uh, hopefully I can go, but we'll see. We'll see. It's, re it's really close. I have a long trip coming up to California soon. Uh, do I think the uh, Hyundai Elantra in is still a good car? Absolutely. Hyundai Elantra in was the biggest surprise for me in 2022, probably for at least for performance cars. Augustine, hey Kirk, please call me Gus. Okay, any word? Hey Gus, um, any word on the new Land Cruiser? Uh, well, I made that video on it, and it sounds like the Land Cruiser is coming back, at least according to oh gosh, Jack Hollis, one of the uh, uh, higher ups in Toyota Nord Motor North America. So. Uh, it's coming back. I just can't. I, I know probably some things, but it's all hearsay. So I don't want to say anything and get myself into trouble or anyone else into trouble. So that's about that's all I can say in the Land Cruiser is it's coming back, at least according to Jack Hollis. He said it. He said it. Um, yeah. What made me a Toyota fan? What was the first Toyota I owned? Probably the, the uh, my wife's Matrix. Well, I mean, if you go back a step, it was it was her uh, second gen Prius, but that was more of her car. We were dating at the time, uh, and then the battery went out on the Prius, and I was anti hybrids for a long time. I was anti Prius, and here I am with you know, I, <laughs> that was back in like two thousand and twelve, two thousand and thirteen when it was extraordinarily expensive to get battery packs replaced. Um, now you can get them replaced for a thousand, fifteen hundred bucks in a lifetime warranty. Um, so it's totally different landscape now for hybrids. And I'm, I'm a, I'm a full believer in them. They're super reliable, very, uh, durable. It's kind of the same, same word, right? Um, little maintenance, very good fuel economy. I like the smoothness of them, the responsiveness of them. And with the new Prius having 190 plus horsepower, it's like, come on, man. It's, it's great. We're living in a great time for hybrids. If you're in Europe, you're not living in great times for electric cars because in Europe, energy prices are 10 times what they were previously before uh, the invasion of Ukraine. So, yeah. Oh, and even get well, gas prices are high too. But like in Switzerland, they're like, hey, don't charge your electric car because we don't have enough energy. Oh, don't, don't, don't watch videos in high definition. Don't uh, run your dryer. Like it's ridiculous over there. It's absolutely, I'm so fortunate to be in America. Thanks, thanks to you guys. Like, I don't know, like thanks to you guys, you guys and your support that I can live uh, like an amazing life with electricity all the time, affordable electricity, affordable gasoline. Gasoline's like, it was like 219, but at Sam's Club, sorry, was it 319? 319? 319 Sam's Club is going to be well under $3 when I fill up. Um, Dadge Beck says he has he had a $270,000 on his Prius. So I only have $60,000 in mine. And I'm going to trade it in uh, if everything goes right for a 2023 model. So looking forward to it. And if there's a lot of good feedback on the Prius on my channel, which there has been, I keep looking at the wrong camera. It's bad. And if there's a lot, a lot of good feedback on my new Prius coverage, I'll probably get the prime. The thing is, is ugh, Europe's only getting the prime uh, and prime will be available in the spring or summer. And it's 
probably going to be prioritized for California and the zero emission states. So I, I don't know. I don't want to get my hopes up too high for a prime, even though it would be, it would be a lot of fun to test, play with and, and run on, on full electric a lot of the time. So I wonder how long the Vinza hybrid battery will last. As long as you own the car, it probably outlasts the car. Uh, super soccer. 2017, speaking of soccer, I know it's, I don't even know if I'm saying you're right, but uh, World Cup begins again tomorrow. We got the uh, semifinals. If anyone's watching World Cup, let me know who you're rooting for. <laughs> I'd like to see Messi get a, a, a victory, but we'll see. Don't care too much. Uh, LX570 and the hydraulic steering and naturally S357 V8 make it feel special. Yeah, LX570 is uh, it's, it's an amazing vehicle. <clears throat> Someone from Norway replied on a video last night that gas got down to $2 a liter or $7.60 a gallon. And that's cheap for them, right? That's cheap for them. David says, don't buy a Prius, please, in a crash. You die? What are you talking about? If it wasn't safe, it wouldn't be available for sale. Uh, what, you want me to drive an F-150? I would drive a Miata every single day if I didn't have kids. Like I would be on a motorcycle. Actually, I'd be on a motorcycle. So, you guys are a bunch of you guys. You guys all worried about a small rainstorm. Uh, no, I was going to bring it back for repairs a week before the battery died. My mechanic said it was time to say goodbye. I was heartbroken. Oh yeah, well, two hundred seventy thousand miles. Yeah, but like you can replace the battery for a thousand bucks nowadays. But it depends on when that was. If it was recent, then yes. But if it was a few years back, then no. It was probably totaled. Sure hope the new gen Prius has quieter interior than Corolla. We'll see. I was looking at new Corolla till new Prius was announced, but not impressed with interior noise of Corolla. Huge wheels on Prius. Hmm. Yeah, well, I think you're I think you're uh using good rationale there. Uh Super Sager's from Qatar. What? Have you been going into World Cup games? That's amazing. I would be at every single World Cup I could go to if I lived in Qatar. How are the beaches there? Do you guys have good beaches? I would hope so. I have good beaches, well, barring hurricanes. Nor outside of hurricane destruction, we have good beaches. Still can't go to the beach here in Southwest Florida. Uh, yeah, I'm excited to see Morocco, the first African team. Uh, so that's pretty exciting. I'm kind of rooting for them too. Kind of the dark horse. <sighs> Dodge back. I'm a wait list since July for new Prius. Whoa. Do you agree? New Prius looks like a last gen Kia Forte. I don't, I don't think it looks like anything. Maybe, maybe second or third gen Prius. Mark Cooper's vote for Kirk Miata's for every bachelor. Hells Yes. Motorcycles and Miatas for every, every bachelor out there. Guy from Norway said gas was $12 a gallon recently. Well, they're really pushing, uh, they're really pushing electric cars over there. New F-150 channel, you guys. Super soccer, should I import new Tundra from US or should I buy a new F-150? Wow. This channel is obviously biased for Toyota, so... Uh, <laughs> F-150s are good trucks too. That's the thing. But Tundra, man, that's, that's few and far between. There aren't a lot of Tundras internationally. So you would definitely get a lot of extra attention. I know, uh, Toyota is big in the Middle East. So you probably get more attention if that's what you want, uh, in the new Tundra or even new Sequoia. Sequoia is in some ways like a, a budget land cruiser. If you're able to import one of those. Uh, except it's hybridized. Link Cruiser, you can't even get in a hybrid. I know it's not the same proportions of wheelbases longer, et cetera, but you know what I'm saying. It can do some off-roading. Uh, do you know why we haven't got a Prime or plug-in hybrid Corolla? Because the Prius takes that. Toyota is not, Toyota's not going to cannibalize its market. And the Corolla hybrid is an entry-level hybrid for them now, what the Prius used to be. So now that the... Uh, the Prius has moved upscale a little bit with design and power. Um, yeah, the, the Prime makes a lot of sense for the Prius and not for a budget 
a budget Corolla hybrid. So hopefully that answered you there. But if you're if you're international, uh, then it changes the situation. How long it takes to accept my order? I have no idea. It's too hard to guess in today's market from when you place order to, to delivery. It's almost impossible. What's the review going now? Uh, it's another Genesis. Uh, maybe the G70. Yeah, the 2020, 2022 G70. But when I made the video, 2023 pricing was available. So I'm getting a 2.0 Super tomorrow. I haven't driven a 2.0 Super on the streets. I've only driven it on the track. I like it over the 3.0 on the track because it is... Uh, more within my capabilities to have fun with. 3.0 is tail tail happy, lots of power. It's a bit crazy. I'm not uh, I'm not a crazy driver. If you guys can't tell, uh, new RX is similar to Venza. Now I would say maybe the new NX is more similar to Venza, but they're on the same platform, same powertrain, so it's really not much different. Uh, oh, Super Soccer is going to Morocco versus France. France is so good, dude. Oh, my gosh. England outplayed them the last game. I'm looking at the wrong camera. England outplayed them the last game, but France, they they strike so good. Like, their, their scoring is so efficient. David Chow is a Tundra, right? I think so. Yeah, he has a Tundra. Tundra TRD all day over the F-150, people are saying. Jimmy Amico, what's up? Kirk, what do you hear? Uh, what year do you think the last year they're going to manufacture the Lexus LC convertible? The Lexus dealership down here in Texas is 2025. They're probably correct because that's when the LFR, that's where, what we're expecting it to be called. That's when the LFR will come out and they'll probably have a convertible of that. It'll be more of a competitor to uh, the AMG GT sort of thing. Um, and it will be a GT3. They'll have a GT3 variant of it as well. So it'll kind of fight against 911s in that regard. So they'll absolutely have a convertible of it. Um, yeah, like I think the LC500s last year is 2025. They'll have a twin turbo V8 instead of a naturally aspirated V8. And the rumors have been going around since 2018 when I first started working for Lexus at 4 liter twin turbo V8, 600 horsepower. We'll see. It could be plug-in hybrid or have a, yeah. There's just so much speculation about the, that powertrain in that car. So, yeah, David Chow got a new GX. Yeah. It's a, yeah. As he says, it's a Land Cruiser Prado, which it's better than the Prado because it has a V8. Uh, better materials probably as well. Alan Guo, hey Kirk, just want to say thanks for giving the recommendation for my uncle to pick up a brand new LX570 back in 2019. He's giving this LX to you? Perfect Christmas gift. I, what? I keep looking at the wrong camera. What? What a Christmas gift. Merry Christmas, you know? I'm still, I'm, here am I, grateful for these packing cubes. I don't know what they are really from Toyota. They look you know, just look like bags with zippers and handles on them. And here you are getting an LX570 for Christmas. Good on you, bro. That is amazing. Long live, long live the LX, long live the V8. God bless you. That is amazing. Happy for you, man. Perfect Christmas gift. Yep, that is pretty spectacular. <laughs> JXMR, any words on the hybrid Corolla hatchback or the future of it? Uh... Uncertain in the U.S. That's all I can say. You already said it. Oh, gosh, Bruce. Kirk, if you started your own brand, what would it be called? What would your first model be? I've never thought about... Wrong camera. Never thought about that in my life. Uh, since your name's Bruce, how about I call it Arkham? I call the brand Arkham and I call the first model like Batwing or something. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Harry Kane, right? That's his name, Harry Kane. Yeah, he missed that penalty. He's he freaking choked, choked. So sad to see. So sad. 
KP, do you think the Type S be a failure in regards to price point similar to... Are you, okay, so you're referring to the Integra. It all de, everything depends on pricing. There's no, there's no bad product out there for the most part. It really comes down to pricing. Um, so if the Type S is at the same price as the Type R, it's a win. If it's 50K plus, no dice because then it's close to the TLX and then, you know, TLX has got more power, more torque, all wheel drive, automatic transmission, you know, I, there's nothing wrong with the six. The six speed is great. Six speed's awesome, but not everyone wants a six speed. So I don't know. Uh, last year, super 2025. Yep. That's what I'm hearing. Or that's what's been speculated for a long time. Drain the swamps in UK. Okay. Yeah, so plug in hybrid Corolla is probably years, 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 years away. A Agron tube, two, three, four. Thanks for your videos. Well, thanks for watching, bro. Uh, can you tell me what sources I should use to get? Insight on Japanese cars. You have a lot of news, but if I wanted to read them on my own, what to use? Uh, Automotive News is a continual source for me. Like, that's my jackpot news source. Uh, Best Car is really good. Best Car from Japan. Uh, Reuters is pretty good. Reuters just broke some news today talking about how Toyota is going to be briefing D, uh, their suppliers and February, I believe, about their new EV strategy. So we might hear about the EV strategy before, around the same time, or after that, because they're not price competitive with Tesla EVs or other like uh, BYD EVs either. So Toyota has to completely scrap ETNGA, is what it sounds like, um, for the successor of the RZ, which is, hasn't even made it to the market, as well as the Solterra and the well, Solterra for Subaru and the BZ4X. So, yes. Those, those are great places to start. Uh, U.S. got a similar MID. What are you talking about? Prius Prime. Can we talk about how much Honda messed up on the Accord? Well, that's subjective. First of all, I'm excited to drive it. I'll be driving it for you guys in essentially the first few days of February, I believe. So the new Accord, I the styling is uber conserver, conservative. The interior I'm happy with because don't fix what isn't broken the three climate control knobs, the touchscreen, but I'm what I'm disappointed about the Accord, not necessarily the styling because that's subjective. Well, everything's subjective, right? But to a degree is the exclusivity to Android built in. Let's try and find the right words. And Google built in Android built in only on the top limited trim. I think that, or the elite trim. Gosh, I'm talking about Toyota and Honda in the same night. So it's only available Maybe that's a touring. I think it's a touring trim. It's only available on the touring trim. Uh, and my gosh, they build up all this hype around Google built in and it's only available on the most expensive model. That was a letdown for me, but the rest of the car I'm excited for. So, and I'm excited to see it not in the limited trim because the limited trim has a weird silver accent on the corners of the front bumper that I don't think add to the car. So we'll see, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. I'm going to reserve judgment. I already know the price of the, the uh, of what? The Prius? Yes, yes I do, but I can't say anything. Uh, Accord is fine, it's tasteful. Yeah, it's it's totally, it's going to be fine. Accord went more upscale, see? Some, some people are saying it's great. Land Cruisers, 2023 Land Cruiser, new infotainment. Yeah, well, we don't even get the, the Land Cruiser, so. Uh, 
uh, test drove LX 600. Alan did a couple of weeks ago. So you're, I think Alan, is, are you the one that said that you're getting the, um, the LX 57 or you're getting it for Christmas, right? From your uncle. I think it's not the LX 600 is not nowhere as comfortable or smooth as a 570 considering it, it have 50 K markup on it. What LX 600 is a 50 K markup. That's absurd. Uh, yeah, the V8 smoother than the twin turbo V6. Twin turbo V6 has better torque. Uh, and the 10 speed auto is pretty good on it too. Bruce, Bruce is ve Bruce has got some crazy, some in-depth questions. You're talking about your process for making your car reviews. I drive them a lot. I drive my kids in every single car I can. I get the super this week, so I can't drive it. My kids to school back and forth every day and get a lot of butt time in the car that way. Um, but typically, I drive the car a lot uh, to see what I like and don't like. And then I get a lot of B-roll throughout the week because it's a lot to do it all in one day. Uh, so some days I'll just do interior B-roll. Some days I'll do exterior B-roll. Uh, and then I'll do uh, the driving impressions. So, and then I come home, upload all the files on my computer, and then I get to editing. And then I got to upload it to YouTube. Uh, all that fun stuff. So that's kind of in a nutshell there. Am I getting a Cybertruck? Says Mitch. Don't think, I don't think so. What Cybertruck? Supposed to be out like two years ago, right? Uh, what do I think Acura is going to show a new RDX? 2024, I think. It's a 2025 model year. RDX Type S, 2025 probably. LX dropped the ball, or Lexus dropped the ball with the new LX. I think I'm not. I'm not that disappointed with the new LX. I'm more disappointed in the LS over the LX. That's just me, though. Super says they dropped the ball with all TNJ cars. Oh, come on, bro. No, TNJ. That means every single model since 2016 is garbage. I totally disagree with that. Oh, it is time. I'm going I'm going to get out of here, guys. It is eight o'clock. I'm gonna go relax, enjoy the rest of my evening with my wife, and get some sleep. And then rinse and repeat tomorrow. So definitely stay tuned for another uh, news update tomorrow or something. And also check out my second channel, Kirky Cars, where I talk about the electrified end of the industry. It's a lot of fun. Uh, so if you like my normal content, you'll love the uh, additional content on electrified vehicles on the other channel. Um, thanks for coming out. You guys rock. Thanks, Mike, for the uh, the donations and anyone else who, who may have uh, donated that I missed. So, guys, Merry Christmas to all of you. Happy holidays. Whatever you do, take care of yourselves, the loved ones around you, and even the ones you don't love. That's probably more important. Just to be nice to other people. Care for them. Brothers and sisters, you know, we're all, we're all family. So anyways, don't get too preachy. Thank you guys. Love you. Take care of yourselves. Peace out.